Appearing lovers. And then your friend calls and says, hey, I just saw Dan at Jack in the Box with some girl. It destroyed my heart. You ruined my nine years of marriage. And how he pushed Bill to the edge. Get off my stage. Yeah. Get off. coming in and thanks for watching. My guests today say their relationships are in pretty good shape. That is until their mates disappear for days and sometimes weeks at a time. Their mothers have seen it all and want their kids to drop their missing lovers for good. Please welcome Lori to the show. Lori, how you doing, honey? Hi. How are Hi. You doing? Now, Lori, why are you here today? I'm here to prove to my family that Chelsea is a no good lying cheating slut and the proof that this baby is not my grandbaby really and let's get let's let's do this chelsea is the woman that your son has chosen to be with yes for the last three years she's been with him and manipulated my son into lying cheating stealing and no good bill other than that do you like her otherwise no she's no. a whore she's a whore <laughs> All right, now, let's talk about her disappearances. Are there times that you can't find Chelsea with a search warrant? Yeah, she goes to her hometown for weeks at a time, leaves her newborn baby here and stuck with us for weeks and days at a time. She don't want to take care of the baby. She leaves him stranded. She goes for walks when she does stay in town. In 20 below zero weather, going for a walk, I don't know, she says she's trying to lose weight. I don't know what weight she's losing because... She don't look like she's losing weight from me. And so, Lori, you're claiming that Chelsea, when it's 20 below, says, I want to go for a walk, and she's gone for hours, days, and weeks at a time and doesn't come back. That's right, Bill. All right. Are you convinced that uh, your alleged grandbaby is not your grandbaby? No, that baby's not mine at all. He's got red hair, blue eyes. My son has brown hair, brown eyes. There's no way this baby is ours. Let's, let, let, let's look at a picture. There's a picture right here. Take a look at that baby. That right there. Look at that baby. What do you see? I see red hair, blue eyes, fat. This baby is no way my grandson. No way. Well, sit down there, honey. Now, Lori, you have other grandchildren, correct? Yes, I don't do. Don't you treat that child like the black sheep in the family? No, I don't. I take care of that baby. You do take I care. I love that baby, whether it's ours or not. But I want to prove that she's done nothing but cheat on him. She, he was in jail when that baby was conceived. Jail? Jail. Were there any conjugal visits with Chelsea and Seth? No, there wasn't. Nothing. He was locked up when she got pregnant. So you don't care much for Chelsea and the impact she's having on your son. Is that fair to say? Yes, that's fair what to say. What happens today? We're gonna, we've done DNA. What happens today if that little baby is in fact not your grandchild? I don't, if it's not my grandchild, then I'll have nothing to do with her. Nothing. Nothing. That's it. But on the other hand, if the child is your grand, you, I, you've been changing diapers, caring for the baby, rocking the child at night, right? Right. And, but do you want that child to be your grandchild? Yes, or? I do. You do. So it would hurt you if it wasn't. It would hurt me deeply if it wasn't. But today's the day. Today's from, the day. From the great state of Ohio, you need the truth. Need and the you're truth. here to get the truth. To prove to my son. All right. Let's do this. Please welcome Lori's son's girlfriend, Chelsea. Chelsea, come on out. Are you serious? You're trying to tear your son's family apart? You're trying to tear your son's You're trying to tear your son's family apart? Take care of that baby. To break this family apart. You know you don't take care of I that take baby. I take care of that baby. Every time I go to Greenville, he's right there with me. Oh, when the when only the you only don't time take care of that baby. the only time that he's home with Seth is whenever I'm at work. Let's, you don't even work. Let's sit down and talk, Chelsea. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think Lori has it out for you? Um, because I don't. I don't want her having nothing to do with my son. Why do you leave the? Ch why do you leave your son with her then when you leave? Um, this, my son always comes with me. Always. Every, every time I go to Greenville, he is always right there with me. You pawn him off on your mom or whoever and you want. And if my mom wants him for a week or two, she can have him. I'm not going to stop my son from going to go see her grandma. You don't even have your baby half the time. I have him. The only time I don't have, his, have him is whenever I'm at work. You don't get up whenever, with them. You make Seth get up with them at I night. Get, Seth will wake me up. 
no, Seth you wakes don't me get up, up every with time him. he gets you up. You don't get up I with can't, him. I can't hear him at night. You don't. If that's he, not my fault. If you have to get up, you argue with him. You make him get up with him. You do not take care of him. I baby. take care of him. I support him. You do not. Nope. The only person that helps me support him is my mother. Now, Laura, no. you called Chelsea a whore. Is that what you said? I Yes. What, what evidence do you have that she is a whore? Who goes for walks in 20 below zero? I will walk in the rain. I will walk in the snow. I walk in the, all the weather. If you want to go exercise to lose weight, then I offer to take you to the gym, but you won't go You're to the gym. You're not going either. Yes, I do. At the time you were impregnated, well, Seth was in jail. Is that correct? Um, yes, he was in jail before, we, uh, before he went to jail. You know, that... Well, what we, happened? We did, um... Sh she said when you were impregnated, Seth was doing hard time. He was in jail. Uh, he was in jail for 30 days. 30 days. So you're saying the, the, the conception took place before that? Yeah. And I, I told Do you Seth, buy the... Seth is that the knows. timing? Is that the timing? Nine months, you know, the child was born? Yeah, the child was born. The, the time frame does not add up. It doesn't add up. No. no question. Now, why do you think she's cheating other than just walking around? She leaves. Who would leave and leave their boyfriend and baby in Springfield, and she goes back to her hometown. He goes, he, he goes with me every he stays, time. No, he My don't. My son goes he with stays, me every single he stays time here. I go to Greenville. He stays here. He, he, he goes stay, with me no, every he, time no, I go he to does not. He stays here half the time. No, he doesn't. You're, you're, even even not, you're not even there. He leaves there. You're not even, you don't even, you don't even care. You're not even there. Yes, I'm here all the time. No, you're not. Half the time when you guys need gas money or anything, I My have to give it to you. No. I have to give them half all the time. Watch your language. No, no, you, you don't even pawning, You pawn all of this stuff half the time. Do you, you claim Lori doesn't and... really care for your baby correctly, your son, that she doesn't favor this child over the other it's grandchildren? Not, it's not favoring. It's she don't care for him like she does with a grandchild that's not even really her. So you think she doesn't treat the child right? Right. But how come you leave the child? I do everything for that baby. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. I've done more than, for that baby than no, anybody. No, you haven't. Yes, my I mom, have. My mom is the one that always helps me with everything that I Because you pawn that baby on drug addicts all the time. No, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Let me ask you this, Chelsea. How certain are you when the DNA comes out that Seth's going to be the father? I'm 100% positive. 100%. 100% no positive. No questions. Well, Tess will tell the truth. Yeah, now, and won't then you'll it? look like a damn fool. Well, we'll see. And then if I'm a damn fool, we'll see, won't we? What are your feelings for Seth right now? How are you two getting along? Um, we get along all right sometimes. <laughs> How about the other times? <laughs> um, we're, we're fighting. Is she over. tearing because apart you guys, your relationship? Because you cheat yeah. on him. Yeah. How do I don't I... cheat on him. I told him that I have cheated on him before, way before I got pregnant. And you're cheating now. No, I'm not. So you okay, have cheated. We'll see whenever the lie detector yeah, test we'll see. comes back. We got that, too. We're going to find out a lot today. This is important for both of you. What if it turns out, in fact, this is the grandmother of your baby boy? I don't, I don't want her to have nothing to do with him. Now, there's one other issue here percolating. You contend that Lori was a lousy mother to Seth. Yeah. Explain. So she has no right telling me that I'm a bad You're mother. You're saying she's a hypocrite. Whenever, whenever she gave her son up at three months. But at least I gave him up. Yeah, I may have gave my son up, but I gave him up and was still around him. I don't just give him up and every other week. You, that baby probably don't even know who its mother is. I'm, because I'm damn sure a, he does. No, I'm sure he probably don't because one week he's with this grandma, one week he's with this grandma. You guys might see him every other month or something. So you're saying she's a hypocrite and shouldn't criticize you because she engaged in worse behavior with yep. Seth is what you're claiming. Yep. Well, let's find out what's going on. We got a lot of complicated issues. We've got lie detector test results coming. We got DNA coming. Woo! Terribly important. Woo! Stay right there. We'll be back. Son joins this family feud. I cheated on her. Wait a minute, you cheated on her? Yes. How'd you cheat on her? You know about this? And the gloves come off. Can you watch the baby? I need to clean house. He's four months old. Put him in his damn blanket. Will the truth break this relationship once and for all? We're gonna be able to prove. Are you are you an okay, honey? What's yeah. the problem you got here? Talk to me. What is it? Today's all about disappearing lovers and angry moms. Lori, is it possible you're a little bit too hard on Chelsea because your son chose to sleep with her, 
to be a boyfriend girlfriend with her it's a small town things get around could you be a little too are you maybe too hard on her no i don't think i'm being hard on her at all she's the one who chose to be cheating around on him but i'm not cheating now yeah you are no i'm not you don't even you, know you don't go and leave your boyfriend and baby here and go away I, you don't I told go you every time I leave my in the cold. Is with you me. don't go for walks in the cold when it's a level three snow emergency it was never, outside. It has never been a yes, level three in Springfield. You don't go for walks. You don't go hide your phone. Is there a chance, no matter how small, that that baby is not set? You make no, no chance at all. Hundred percent. Yep. He had an immaculate conception in jail. He was in jail. <laughs> And it you was got before he went just to jail. Before it he wasn't went to... before he went to jail. He yes, was in it was. Jail. Oh, I'm pregnant. You were with him for three years. You've manipulated him for I the whole time. I haven't manipulated He's him. Been you with don't... him. I haven't even manipulated you make... him. You won't let him get a job. He has the time. problems, anyways. All right, let's yeah, do this. His problem. Let's get Seth out here. Please welcome Laurie's son yeah. and Chelsea's boyfriend, Seth, to the show. Come on out, Seth. Seth. Control. Trying, she's allowed to go for a walk. Yeah, she wants to lose weight. Like, no, why you gotta call a four month old baby fat? You that you that <laughs> stupid? Watch your language there. Have a seat, Seth. You're the one. No, you're controlling. No, you're the you one. You don't know her. She's and when she goes to Greenville, she takes Taylor with her every damn time. Every no, time. not every time. You yes. get up with that baby every in the time, middle of the night. Every time I go to Greenville, he is with me. No, not yes. every time. Yes, every you're time. You're just mad you that take she him, takes him there him and she's around her family and not around you. No, she drops the baby off no, half she don't. the time and then you guys don't even have Seth, the baby. Seth, is Lori interfering in this relationship? Yes. What is she doing? Explain. She, she's trying to break us up and control us. Why? Because she because loves she's a, you? She's a control freak. She loves you. She claims she loves you and that you're with her woman. She don't love Well, him. she loved me and she'd accept my family for what, they, what it is. What? For her cheating on you? She's not cheating. I cheated on her. Wait a minute. You cheated on her? Yes. How'd you cheat on her? You know about this? I did. We both, we both have done it and that's you... the past and she won't let it go. Mm. And she's cheating now. And this no, baby's no, not no, she is now. No, she's she's not baby is him. She's got red hair, blue eyes. Your dad. Hair what what color eyes. hair does your dad have? Brown hair. There's the no, baby right there. Terry. There's the that baby son again. Is him. Yes. That is my Where's the resemblance? Where's the resemblance? He looks that like his mom. Look looks like you, just like you. And the baby's dad is not him. <laughs> that baby is not like him. You're the one Where that put my it? baby picture inside him like when he was like born. The nose don't look like him. The mouth. All right, don't mom, look I got like a question. Him. How much of a fool are you gonna be if that baby is in fact his and yours? How are you gonna feel then about I, that? I'll feel like a fool. You'll feel like a fool. All right. Then I'll owe her an apology. A big apology. And are you gonna back off this relationship yes, and let I them will. love if each that other? If that baby's his, then I'll back off. And let you them. You know it's his. <laughs> well. When the test comes back, then I'll back off. Until then, then I'm not backing off. Well, we'll see if you have anything to do with them after after we leave. We'll right, here Look at that. Look right, at that. Way, here's a picture of Seth. That he's got his nose. He's got his Where? ears. I don't see. That's not his nose. That's you're, not you're his crazy. ears. Well, you're not, not identical, but you look similar. I think it looks a little got, similar. No, I mean, it looks somewhat similar. She just doesn't want to believe it. That don't look nothing she don't want to like believe it. it at all. All right, let's do this. Mom has put in that's, your head the idea. That's not it's his part baby. of the problem here, Chelsea, is that Lori plants seeds in the mind of Seth about your cheating, about you being a whore, she and about you being a lousy mother. Stupid. She what? Always, what does she, she say? Always, I'm out cheating. I'm a whore. I'm a slut. I don't want when nothing to do with them. I don't want to be with them. Didn't your mother dump you when you were a baby? Well, I was Taylor's age. Oh. Dumped. I was raised by my grandmother. I don't call her mom. I call her Lori. That is what it saved as in my cell phone. Lori. He calls you. But, I you call know. her You're both. A liar. You I call, call me her mom both. All the but time. but Lori and mom. How does it make you feel? Do you feel a little guilty? You're trying to make up. For your problems by inflicting yourself no, in this I relationship. I think she was trying at the beginning when Taylor was born. I think she was trying to fix her relationship with Tim, or what she messed up on me. And I didn't didn't mess you mess raise up. a new family I without was you? I 15 when I had yeah, you. Yeah, she had three, not she had 19, three more kids after And you're I was always born. dumping your baby off at your at his no, grandma. No, we're not. 
You're just yes, mad because he's not around you. He will not he's, be around you. He's at he his grandma's for a week to two weeks. This is not his grandmother that cares about, about him. Week to two weeks. Weeks. You don't leave a newborn at a baby's grandma's for two newborn. weeks. You're not newborn. It's four, four months. months old. You never have that baby. Yes, we never. do. You're never around us. You, so how do you Oh, can know? you watch the baby? I need to clean house. He's four months old. Put him in his damn playpen. You take care of me when I was four months old. I took care of four kids. No, you did. Yes, I did. You I took care of three. three. Jacob, Dustin, and Tammy, not me. Lord, did, was did you wish that Chelsea's brother was dead? No, I didn't. Yes, no. you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you said, I hope your he son dies, and he dies two days later. He died two days later. He died two days he later, two days later two after she said that to her mom. You said, I hope your, your son dies. He to died two days later. That sounds pretty cold, Lori. That's no, a little cold. She's a cold hearted person. You wish he was dead, and he died two days later. He died two days later. died April 20th of 2013. Now, let's do this. We have test results coming up. DNA, yes, this do. is so critical for this family as to whether or not Seth is indeed the father of that child. And we also have a lie detector of Chelsea. You took a lie detector, didn't you? Yep. We're going to be able to prove. Are you are you an okay, honey? What's yeah. the problem you got here? Talk to me. What is it? It's just the things that she say and they get brought back up. Like how she wishes my brother was dead. That I never said lot. that. Well, you're a liar. No, I'm Why not. Why would he lie about something like that? That's he not lies stupid to lie about. Well, he lies all the time. No, obviously. Have you looked in the mirror? mirror? Have you looked in the mirror? You're a compulsive liar. And so aren't you. Lori, you think she's a whore and he's a liar. Why are you here? What do you want? <laughs> you want the truth. <laughs> That's it, man. Come on. I'll tell you what. We got the results of Seth's DNA coming up, and we have Chelsea's lie detector. You may have to make the biggest apology on the history of the Bill Cunningham show. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. A relationship on the brink. I'm not allowed to have friends. Yeah, you have friends. I can't have friends. But when you sit there and tell me that you're I not doing anything, friends. really. No, really, I can't have down. friends. Will truth make them? For once in your life in the nine years we've been married, tell the or break them. Are you cheating on her? No, sir, I'm not. Did you take the lie detector? Yes, sir, I did. We're going to find out for sure now, honey, but you're 101% sure yeah. it's happening. Yeah. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 now. My guests today wonder where their mates go when they disappear for days or weeks at a time, and their loved ones are wondering why they're still with these deceptive lovers. Please welcome Melanie to the show. Melanie, how you doing? Good, Bill. Hey. Right. <laughs> Melanie, tell me about your man, Dan. <laughs> okay, I'm here to find out that if my husband is cheating on me. Um, I have reason, I have 100%, I am 100% sure 100%. that he is. 100%. Um, I have two texts on my phone from these women that says, one says, um, hey, I can come on over and kick it for a while and get out of the rain. Another one says, um, she says, yeah, we're just friends, you know, and so when he comes home after three days of being gone, like, all the time. Once a month. Where does he go? I mean, he just walks away. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden he'll say, well, I'm going to the, um, down to the convenience store I'm going to get down a beer, the store. and I'll be right back. And then all of a sudden it's like 20 minutes go by and he should be there. Then all of a sudden he might call and say, oh, I'm doing something and I'll be right there. Uh, then I know he's going to be gone for two to three days. No calling. I two to three days? Yeah, two to three days. He doesn't come home. He doesn't call me. He turns his phone off so I can't get a hold of him. So, and then when he does come home, he sits there and he says, oh, I was out trying to do this tonight. He says, no, you're here broke and a hangover, and that's all you can come up with. And I'll say, well, where were you? And he'll say, well, you know, I was just riding my bike around, just doing this and that, and it's like, bull Wait crap. Wait a minute. You're you know? saying Dan is on a bicycle. Yeah. Rolling around at night. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I understand it. one time you caught him with a girl on the bicycle. Yes, I did. At yep. night. Yes. Rolling around. Yep, yep. I sure did. I, um, was well, leaving, well, I was well, leaving some friend's house, and I'm riding my bike on home, and all of a sudden I look, and I see him with this other woman on a bicycle, and it's like, really? Really? So I go over to him, and I get off the bike, and I shove him. Who is this? And he says, oh, I just met her at Plaid Pantry, and um, we're just going out canning. Really? You're going out canning? Yeah. Wait a minute. What is canning? Going out and picking up the cans and bottles and stuff so we can return them. Like a nickel for a yeah, bottle? Yeah. And he's canning? Yeah, that's what he says. Do yeah. you buy it? No. Was it a one-seater or a two-seater? A one-seater. So this woman's on this bike. No, he's, no she's on another bicycle. She's on another bicycle. But he provided the bicycle for her. And so, and so after I confront him, does he come home? 
No, he still stays with her because like three hours later, I catch him still with her at the grocery store turning in the bottles. Okay? <laughs> so and Dan then, is at night yeah. picking up for two and five cents bottles and cans. Yeah. He's canning with But he's with telling me that he's out trying to find, you know. What a hot take that is, ladies. Yeah. What not be I know, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go canning. Yeah. But he's so full of crap. If he honestly thinks that I believe that. Do you he, believe that? No, hell no, you I don't. You don't believe that? No, and I've gave him opportunity after opportunity to tell me the truth. But do you think he will? No, he'll sit there and lie to my face and I'm supposed to say. And then if I do confront him, sometimes he'll get this attitude and he'll, you know, and it's like, really, then why are you getting an attitude? And if you don't quit bitching, I'm going to leave again. Well, get your ass on gone, you know? Now go. That, but, you know, go. All right, go. Please welcome Melanie's husband, Dan, to the show. Dan, come on out. Where's Tell proof? me the truth. Where's, Where's the, proof? the proof of the cheating? Oh, well, what about the, when I called your cell phone and I got the voicemail and it says, Hey, Daniel, this is Denise. Hey, I, um, we can be friends. And you try to friends. tell me that okay. you don't even know who the hell she is. And then your friend Jason calls and says, Hey, I just saw Dan at Jack in the Box with some girl. Hello. And you come back and you say, I don't even know who that girl is. I don't even know Jason. Don't. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. I don't know any Jason. Let me tell you something. Shut up. Sit down, Dan. You're, you're, you're a liar. You're accusation. You are some Foundation whatsoever. I'm not allowed to have friends. Yeah, you can have friends, but, I can't when, have but friends. when you sit there and tell me that you're I not doing anything, friends. really, Melanie, really, I can't sit have down. friends. Dan, let's sit down. Just let's talk. I, I want to talk about the canning incident. So you're out at night bicycling around with a get out, a nickel and okay. a dime. Is that what you were doing? I was out by myself and I seen a friend of mine. A you female. saw a, fr a female he, friend. Okay. He didn't tell and me she was a friend. You said you just met her. Hello. Melanie, liar. You know that's not true. Come on, that's come on, tell the truth, Dan. For once in your life, in the nine years we've been married, tell. Accusations really? have really got to me. Really good. They've got me stressed out to the really? point where I disappear because I can't take. Well, I can't take. <laughs> There's the door anytime, do sweetheart. Go. Okay, I'll tell you what. Because you know what? I can do things on my own. The truth. I can do better things on my own without you because all you are is an anchor. Really? You just weigh me down. Get to it. Yeah. Get to it. Yeah. Let's talk. This woman's emotional right now. Yes, yeah, she's emotional. You know because what? she got this nine years of marriage invested in this. Mm. She wants to. Are you cheating on her? No, sir, I'm not. Did you take the lie detector? Yes, sir, I did. We're going to find out for sure now, honey. But you're 101% sure yeah. it's happening. Yep. She has no evidence. You're a poor excuse for a man. There you go. That's exactly. That is exactly why I take my breaks. All right, Dan. This Hold is on, exactly honey. why I leave. As I understand it, you're a tattoo artist, and so you like to meet a bunch of women uh, for marketing purposes. Explain what that is. My tattooing career, okay. Uh, yeah, you're a tattoo I don't even have one anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my you wife doesn't trust me, I got rid of the That's what I did, yeah. Yeah, more months. Uh, okay. Tattoo that, artist. That, that may sound cool to everybody. And it, did she ruin your her. tattoo business? No, it's not uh, funny. She destroyed my career. But, she destroyed your career. But look what she yeah. done to me. You destroyed, destroyed my heart. You ruined my nine years of marriage, Dan, because nine. all you do is lie. All you do is take off. Where and is you know the what? Proof? Where's my husband? I'm always there doing everything by myself. And, where you is just, the proof? and then you always leave and drink and leave and drink. Okay, let's so, talk about uh, the isn't stuff. Isn't it a marriage destroyed? where you have to work things out? Yeah, it's, But we never do because you lie and you don't even tell the truth. If you're not working on marriage, you're working on divorce, Melanie. That's, that's exactly oh, well, you what know what? I that would be a here. hell of a lot better than what I'm going through yep. now. <laughs> really? So you don't want to work on this marriage? What, what is there to work on if you're going to still leave? How's the Will end? you promise me that you'll never leave? No, you won't. Will you promise me that okay. you'll, you know? You want him to stay in this condition with you two fighting like this? Yeah, no, it's just getting worse and worse it's and worse because worse. he'll just keep worse. taking off. Really? Dan, did you pass a lie detector test? I'm positive I passed We're going to find out when we continue. Stay right there. Is this the final straw? I am so sick of men like you treating women like us like this. She's a cheater! Give up on her! I don't want to give up on her! you! Two couples. No escaping the truth and lie detector test results plus DNA. I have them right here. Face the truth. Really? Do you want to find out for sure which man is your baby daddy? We'll do a free DNA test on our show. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. I think it's time that you come clean and that you wipe everything that you've been doing in the past 
away and come clean with it so you guys can start over and be happy and move on. Then we have your stepdaughter, Taya, coming out. But before Taya comes out, is there a chance, no matter how remote, that everything he is saying is accurate and you have misaccused him of all this cheating when it didn't happen? Is there a chance? You said 100%. I don't think so. No, no chance. No, there's no but chance. what if it happens? What if this Then man I have a lot passes? of butt kissing to do or something, or it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, it's to maybe it's to the point where we're done anyways. It's you know? a woman's intuition. Yeah, it is. But if he has passed it, then it changes everything and how sorry you are. You're going to have some butt to kiss if that that's happens. That's right. That's right. And you will. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. Please welcome Dan's stepdaughter, Taya, to the show. Taya, come on out. Dan, I am so sick of men like you treating women like us like this. Hey, it's time to put all this out on Taya. the open. Okay. You're cheating. You're doing okay. something. Okay. Well, and if any cheating, what are you doing? How did he treat your mom? He cheated on her. Cheated on your he mom. He cheated on her. I have a seat. Okay. Why are you so angry? I thought you'd be. A, I thought you would be on his side. You're not on his side at all. Uh, no. Not. Because but you've I'm seen not it. Be. You've okay. seen I was. It. I was treated like that for years, and, I, and it's wrong. It's wrong. This woman loves him to death. So and she has put up with hell for nine years. Describe for those. Who, I see a contentious fighting relationship here. What do you see happening between your stepdad and this fine woman? I want him to put it all out in the open. And just start. You over. want it all out. I, I want you. It's time to just come clean, so you can Ta put behind listen, you and start over. Okay. So you guys can be happy together. And Melanie's well, like a mother to you, right? Yes, she is. Very close. The ladies are close. Yes, very. Okay. Uh, I haven't been cheating on my wife here. I didn't cheat on anyone. Okay. okay. Well, then what is the reasonable the, explanation? Because of the pressures. Okay. Pressure. Well, don't my be job. gone, and you won't get the my pressure. Work. Pressure. The don't be gone. Be there the then. Constant stress. Stay home okay. then. What right. am I supposed to do? Sit there till I blow home, up? Then you're you won't have, have the stress because you won't have anything like, to bitch about. Good, and then all of a sudden Listen, you take Melanie. off, and then it's like nobody was bitching at all. I wasn't bitching. We were getting along. Good. But you do bitch. But yeah, when you come back, you and lie. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay. You you're not around. Right. There's no problem She's at all, Dan. You're not innocent here, Mel. No, I know I'm not. Okay, but we were getting along just fine. The tears may fool these people, but it don't fool me. You know, I know because you're nothing but a piece of. What? Oh, so, right. Taya, let me ask you, you this. That's, that's why she's nice. crying. She that's loves nice. you. That's Taya, why she's you get crying. emotional you about her. this because you have seen. I want them to be happy. I care you want them. You love. You love. You, know, you love them both. Can you I say? Do. You I love care them. for these people. I don't think wants to be married anymore, but he doesn't have the the backbone to even say anything. You know what? Get him back. We didn't stay home. That would be the best thing to do. And have a more logical explanation than just out riding your bike in the pouring rain. Okay. Listen to this. How is that better than hanging out with your wife? I, I love to hang out with my wife, but I can't hang then out with her. Then don't disappear. She is a call Why don't you do it more why then? Why, why don't you do it? Because Melanie called me in a different state to find can you. We, can, we, can we change, can we change you know, a little things, bit of behavior on both sides here? Things would be a lot better between us, Dan, if you would just be a husband and do what I you're tried, supposed Melanie. to do. I'm trying. Really? I'm doing the best I can do with no, what I've got to work with. No, when you take off, it just makes things worse, Dan. It does. I understand that. And that's when I start pitching. And I apologize for my part. Really? But what makes me take off like that, Melanie? What? I can't we stand the pressure sometimes. No, listen, I'm just sorry. Last week what we were pressure did she put on? You create no the pressure, pressure by being by you and a man. man. Okay. By being the what husband, by doing what leave. you're supposed to do in the marriage. Is what, that's what. You can't handle it. Let's because take you don't like responsibility. Let's take at all. All. You'd rather just drink and hang out with your homeless drink. people. Okay. Well, you know what? It, it, it seems a little bit better to me. It makes me feel better really? than to sit yeah. there and being accused well, of stuff why don't I'm not doing. Okay, well, then obviously this marriage isn't going to go anywhere. It's done. It because can't you go somewhere, Melanie. Really? You're supposed to be a man of the house, not take off. How would you like it if I took off and I didn't tell you and I'd just come back and I'd just say, oh, I was hanging out with someone else. I feel like I'm much of a man when I'm being called all these names. I just might try that, buddy. Okay. Why is it that when Melanie can't to. find you, I'm a state away from you guys now, and she can call me and say I cannot find him, and I can find you? Well, why, why is you that? Find why aren't you answering the phone calls? Because he'll okay. answer her phone calls, but he won't answer mine. He won't mine. answer yours. Right. right. Tell you how important because these tests are. What if Dan passes it, and you both ladies, what if you're both wrong? Pass. What if he you're... was trying to convince us last night the lie detectors are inaccurate. Let me, let me say this. You say if you pass the lie detector test, it's legitimate, but if you don't pass it, it's not legitimate. <laughs> That's that's right. very inaccurate, the though. jury's still out that's on that. that. But I'd say, but you're going to pass it. I'm going to pass well, let's it. Let's do this. I told the truth. All the test know. results are coming up. They mean that's so much absolutely. to our first group and also to this group. Terribly important, correct? If he passes it, honey, you better give the second biggest apology because she's going to mm -hmm. give the biggest. Because he still disappears. He should still be at home with his wife. No, I'm not going to apologize. No cheating's involved. That's, that's a big issue. Well, then what is he doing? And you passed the lie detector, right? I've never pass seen him cheat, so I don't know. Test results are next. Stay right there. 
For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. Do you want to make a difference? I'd like to hear how you would get to the root of the problem in this relationship. Do you agree with Lori that Chelsea is a bad mother? Call one 8 You know, at home, my guests may be able to run away from the truth, but now they're here, and there's no escaping the truth and lie detector test results plus DNA. I have them right here. Yeah. All right. Let's begin with you, Dan. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Melanie, awfully important. Yes, it is. Nine, how many years of marriage? Nine? Nine. And Dan, we ask you three questions. One, since you've been with Melanie, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Melanie? Nine years of marriage. You said no. That was a lie. Oh! Really? Really? You had your chance. You had your chance. Really? You're getting now we got two more. We got two Hello? more. Yeah. You're going to threaten me now? Yeah. Really? You had your chance. Let's go for two more, Taylor. Let's go for two more. Number All two. Right. Dan, when you leave Melanie, are you having sexual contact with another woman? You're gone for days at a time. You said no. That was a lie. Oh. Really? Well done. We yeah. are. OK, good. Dan? Y'all can fly me home separate. I don't care. Good. Taya, how do you feel? Uh, Dan, this is your wife of nine years, and you've broken loss. her heart. His okay, loss. Let's go to number three. Did you have sexual contact with any other woman who left messages on your phone? You said no. That was a lie, too. Yeah. I knew really it. Did. I knew no, it. See, just to prove my... I knew I was right, and you played me for a fool, and you thought I actually no. believed your You are such an idiot. You're the stupid <laughs> one, and I'm not... <laughs> I don't have to put up with this no more. Either. No. Yeah. Cause Anything you, know, you want to say? Why don't you admit to reality? Why? I didn't have sex with any women. <laughs> no. Not ever. Really? Except for this one. Hey, uh, so you do oh, deny? Does anybody believe that? No. no. But I gave you the opportunity to tell the truth, but you know what? Are you saying you never loved her at all? Yes, I do love my wife. You love her still? Really? Yes, I do love her. This is an. I just doesn't know what commitment well, means. That's commitment. right. Well, how can you commit to somebody that constantly calls you names? Because, because I'm, I wouldn't call you names. If you, you were home, you, you wouldn't get that, Dan. If you were home, you wouldn't get that. She does that because you're not uh, there. You leave, her, women don't. Away, you leave her That's why I leave. No wonder I'm gone. Is Is that that you're a liar. You're a piece of you're a bully. That's right. You're a bully. Because I know the truth, man. You're a bully. You know that I know the truth. You can't even stay at home. Really? You're a liar. You're a bully. You are so full of Stinks. You're a bully. Get out of here. You're a bully. And I'll get so out of here. what? You know what? No. You're a bully. Really? Yeah. Really? You're a bully. Yeah. yeah. You're a drunk. Out. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Sit down next to us. Sit down. All right, let's do this. What's in your heart right now? Is it over? Yeah. It's done? It's done. You can't put up with the pain anymore? Nope. All right. I just needed to know the truth. You got it, honey. Let's move on to Chelsea. Chelsea, everyone needs to know if, in fact, Seth is the, is the father of that baby. But first, you took a lie detector test. And your mother-in-law, so to speak, has made certain allegations about your infidelities, and you took a lie detector test, correct? Yep. We asked you three questions. Number one, Chelsea, have you had sexual relations with any of Seth's family members? You said no. That was the truth. We got two and three. Other than the time Seth knows about, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Seth? And didn't you confess that you had to our lie detector expert? Yep. See, I told you you was a lying, cheating whore. How many, how many times have you been? Hold on. See, how see many you're times? a cheater. Hold on, see, honey. I told you she was Shut a up. cheater. Let me. <laughs> And number three, when you leave the baby with Seth, are you having sexual contact with other men? You said no, and that was a lie. See? Oh. You're a cheater! Cheater! Shut up! Hold on. No, she's a 
cheater! Because no, no. once a cheater, always a We're cheater! Done. We're done. Okay. Why you gotta lie about stuff like that? I wouldn't do it to you. You did do it. That's the past. Now I might cheater. want to let the past go and quit accusing you of cheating if you keep doing it. Well, you keep accusing me, so why not keep doing it? Because you're once a cheater, always a cheater. She deserves a second chance. <laughs> Hold on. Second, third, well, fourth, well, fifth, sixth, seventh. Seven. Shut up. Eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Do you want the relationship to work? Do you want? No. Do you love that other dude or not? No. You do you love Seth? Yeah. Do you want this to work between the two of you? I don't. What know. message, Seth? Do you want to get? You want me to say that again? I'm getting beat up by him all the time. Why would I want to be with somebody that? But honey, you cheated on him and lied about it. I will forgive you for doing it. We can put the past behind. What do you mean, Peter? How many times you gonna forgive her? When you say beat up, you don't mean physically. Yeah. No. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. We beat each other. He bloodied my nose. No. Sat in my lip. Oh, excuse me. You don't even know you wasn't there. You need to shut the hell up. He broke. Seth, did you hit yeah. this woman? I smacked her yes. because she was taking my head, bashing it off the ground. She beat the hell out of me first. You never touch a woman, and a woman never touches a man. I tell you what, that's a negative. You don't do that. So, because of the violence and because of the relationship he has with his mother, do you have a hard to form a family unit with him? Is it hard for you to commit to him? Kind of, yeah. I can I will forgive her for it all. That's I want to make it Are work. Are you sorry for what you did? No. <laughs> Will you do it again, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Damn. Once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> Give up on her. Now, let's do this. When we continue, I have the DNA test results. You're a cheater! She's a cheater! Give up on her! I don't want to give up on her. F*** you. She's a cheater! DNA test results are next. Stay right there. Do you want to find out for sure which man is? Lover's question. I disappeared because I can't take. Well, I can't take. There's a door in do time, sweetheart. Lies revealed. That was a lie. Oh. Really? Well done. We are. Okay, good. One more bombshell to go. So when it comes to the fatherhood of that beautiful baby boy. Seth, you. Tell me what's in your heart right now. <laughs> I'm so hurt. I'm so you feel hurt. humiliated? I feel, you know. Rejected? Yeah. And I've, <laughs> I've known this. <laughs> I'm just not going to put up with this. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> you know, m maybe, Melanie, you got the answer you need it. Maybe not the answer you want it. So it's time to move on. Yeah. Are you moving on? Yeah. Let's, I have go, to. let's go back out. Come on with me. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> DNA results are coming up. Please welcome relationship expert Mel Robbins to the show. Mel, how are you doing? This is crazy, Bill. It's crazy. Before we get your advice, and I think <laughs> Melanie and Dan need your advice. I'll say. And I think this couple needs your advice, too. But one of the, the biggest issue here to me is the paternity of this beautiful baby boy. But we have a DNA test result that is 99.99999%. So when it comes to the fatherhood of that beautiful baby boy, Seth, you are the father. Oh. I'm sorry. That he, I'm glad I'm wrong. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. I, I, I mean, seriously, I, I'm, almost, I'm almost sorry that that's the result because you've got a long road ahead with you because you now are stuck with these guys. And I want you to understand something. you got to do what's best for that baby of yours, which means you cannot be in a relationship where somebody is physically abusing you. End of story. That's number one. What, what did we do with Dan and really Melanie broke down nine years, loved him before that. She says to me backstage, I still love Dan. I still love him, but I can't be. That's not I true. Can't. That's not true. You do not still love Dan. The only there advice I have for Dan is you can leave the stage now. Whoa! And what I, what I want to say, what I want to say to Melanie. How about
think is that I don't think you love him. Yeah. I think you're terrified of being alone. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Ooh. Dan, calm down. This is I expert. really do. No, I, I, don't think I think it is. I tell you what, I think it is. Get off my stage yeah. talking to me. Get off. Him. How many years? Nine years. Probably about eight. eight you years. stopped listening to yourself. Forget about him. You got it? Mm -hmm. You go to your family, you go to your friends, you get him out of your life. You hear me? Yeah. All right. When we continue the bottom line, for more info, go to the website BillCunninghamShow.com. Here's the bottom line. If your mate is leaving for weeks or days at a time, it doesn't matter if they're cheating. It does mean they can't be trusted. It may seem like your family is interfering, but appreciate that someone with a level head may be looking out for you. You don't have to put up with someone that doesn't respect you. Sometimes you're better off alone. During the break, these two talked about staying back together for the child. And I, I think you're being told, don't disregard your loving mother. But you got to fend her off this relationship so it's got a chance to flower. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Or sad that that little baby boy, that beautiful baby boy, is in fact the son of Seth and Chelsea. Obviously, Chelsea's the mother, but I guess I'm happy that he knows when he grows up who his dad is, who is Seth. I've seen this so many times when mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers get involved in a relationship. That's rather crowded. I would encourage in this case Seth and Chelsea to separate from the mother for a while. Love mom. But go off and see if you can form a family structure together. Chelsea lied about her cheating, though, and that's a problem. And she never said at the end she ever wanted to be with Seth. So maybe they can work on that difficulty. As far as Dan is concerned, Melanie, what can I say? Eight or nine years of marriage. I hope if he confesses and acknowledges wrongdoing, that is the first step toward forgiveness. I think Melanie's making a good decision by throwing Dan to the curb.